Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life and welcome to Hashtag Embellish With Us Wednesday, an open collab hosted by our friends Judith at Gigi's Cool Creations at Marianne at Marianne's Craft Corner. And every Wednesday they invite us to share some embellishments that we've been making to add to our stash, to gift in Happy Mail, or for whatever else we may be creating embellishments for. So today I'm creating the all these little mini dangles and tassels. I am by no means a tassel maker. I'm definitely a novice tassel maker. Um, I love doing it. I love making the, just these little ones. And so before I share with you these little tassels and dangles that I've made right here, let me just share with you um, some of the beads I have. Um, a lot of the beads I've been gifted. I definitely have bought some on sale at Hobby Lobby. I love these um, containers that I've bought from um, either scrapbook.com or Hobby Lobby. And I love using these little, um, you know, these little pins right here. I never remember the name of them, but these are fun. Um, I bought these so long ago and they just last forever. When I'm shopping down in LA, I love, go I love going to the bead factory. You can get so many things for beading and um, so cheaply. A lot of these little things have been gifted to me. This is the last thing I bought actually. This brand, the, tr the Treehouse brand at um, Hobby Lobby is often often on sale. So I, and I love these little green beads. These are so fun. I just bought these a couple weeks ago. And then I've bought some things over here, some tassels. I've bought these from Magical Mixery. And then um, a lot of these, almost everything that's in here um, was given to me. This little embellishment box actually was gifted to me. Um, and um, so thank you. You know who you are that gave this to me. And then I've added um, also other things in there as well. And then I just have some other little things in here. There are beads in here that were given to me, beads in here that were given to me, a lot of little seed beads in here that's on a Facebook marketplace sale, and then some more little beads in there. I'm making some felt tassels. I love to make some paper tassels as well. And then sometimes we just make some little fun little dangles just like these. So let me share with you some of these little ones that I've made. Um, green, you know, is on our mind with March and so I put that little star right there just thought that was little that was fun and so here's another little green one I made so just keeping it simple so there's another little green one so there's the new beads that I just got so and these little tassels I mean I only buy them when I can find them cheap because you know they're so easy to make <laughs> so and I have thread that I can use to make them that's always on my list of things um, to do and then I use some of these little um, alpha beads and put that and then put spring on there I thought that was fun with a little heart and then these little, um, I bought these little black beads um, in October during Halloween. And I don't know if, even know if I even used them. So, some, you know, I love black and white. So I wanted to do um, one that was black and white. And then, and then I love these. Um, I don't know what these are called, but I love these big um, kind of chunky beads. And of course, I love pink. So I made a couple of, th this little tassel is so hot pink. It's so bright, isn't it? <laughs> but those are cute and then I made a couple of just little tiny ones I had someone send me just like a whole bag of these Tony was that you and um, that sent me just like a whole bag of these I thought what a great idea because you can just you know hook them together and um, use them on a dangle and then I love these. I only had one of these so someone must have gifted me that little heart bead right there I thought that was really cute and then this yellow one, I like the just the monochromatic, keeping the, all the beads the same color. I think that's really pretty and fun too. And that's a bright yellow. And then the rest of these are blue because the Joy of Blue collab takes place, I think it's on the 12th of every month. And I was actually going to um, upload and join that collab, open collab, but then, um, I don't know, I ran out of time and didn't do it. So, um, but I love all these little, oh, I think this one fell off. So I think that one fell off of there. But, um, and then I, I love these little blue. Um, so I just, so I thought I was going to um, join that open collab, but I didn't. But, so that's why I created, I started creating all these little blue beads. Um, but I just think, and blue is so fun. It's not a color that I normally um, am drawn to, but I do like blue. 
So different shades of blue just kind of remind you of the ocean, I guess. So that's what I've been working on um, this week for hashtag embellish with us Wednesday. And if you want to see someone that knows how to bead, oh my gosh, Veronica Christie, go over to her channel. She just changed her channel name, Christie's Crazy Crafty Life. That girl can bead. And our hostesses, oh, Marianne can bead. Oh, she can make some beautiful tassels. And so can Judith, so definitely go check out our hostesses. Um, they definitely can make tassels and they're beautiful. These are the embellishments that I'll be adding to my stash, gifting and using in my projects as well. Thank you for stopping by and definitely follow that hashtag, embellish with us Wednesday and go check out all the other excellent embellishments and get some inspiration. All right, friends, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, also, I wanted to share with you, Tria to give away on her channel as part of the hashtag Let's Do Die Cutting Monday, and I won. So I got my little gifty, and look at how cute that is. She paper pieced this super adorable Santa ornament. Oh my gosh, look at that. How cute is he? Look at that. Thank you so much, Tree. And then also she included these nail stickers. How fun is that? But of course, you know, you don't have to use them as nail stickers. You can use them for whatever you want. Those are so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I'm so happy that I won the giveaway. So make sure you follow the hashtag and make sure you check out Let's Do Die Cut Monday. Talk to you soon.